Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. I'm really happy and excited to be back with this series. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to finally have this fourth part coming out on the channel. But here we are. So it's Monday morning. Keith is still quite tired because I think yesterday, if I remember well, because once again, it's been a little while since the last part. I think he threw a party and he went to bed quite late or actually no, I think he went out and that's when he met Lydia and yes, I would like for him and Lydia to become an item because these two I think could be really cute together mm. although since he's so tired I don't think this is going to happen today Today though, he will most likely accomplish a, an opportunity that he has been working on for work but yeah, he's just going to go to work today I wonder if he's going to get a promotion although his mood is quite low because of his shower because he took a cold shower and his energy is going to go down so I really hope that he's going to get a promotion today but he also has another opportunity to work on which is to talk to Beverly to complete this opportunity so yeah he needs to convince her that lo logic is great so I think he'll do that tomorrow and I also really want for him tomorrow to have another another chess match with someone maybe with Lydia who knows Maybe he can also hang out with her and practice his his logic skill with her uh, through chess match. Um, but anyway, what I'm just going to do is spit on through the day, probably as well spit on through the night. Although I just would like to get this notification letting us know that he completed this opportunity. There we go. Your boss is glad you took the time to read better out than in. Reading is never a waste of time, your boss has improved your job performance and it seems the two of you have grown a bit closer as a result of your efforts. Cool! Oh great, so now he's good friends with his boss, Lionel. Cool! So as I thought, Keith is actually really exhausted and he got promoted, so now Keith has been promoted to paramedic and he's made a lot of money. Finally, some hands on medical care. Paramedics are first on the scene to provide emergency care. So it's important for you to touch up on logical reasoning so that this so that the split second decisions you make are the correct ones. Cool. So now he works from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I think he starts a little bit later in the day, but ends as well a little bit later in the day. But he made quite a bit of money, which is great. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to resume tomorrow because right now I'm just going to have him go to sleep. Keith is done with his day of work. I'm not going to have him go home even though he's a little bit tense, but that's actually great because I think I'm going to have him go on a another chess match or actually have another chess match with someone else. But this is his new outfit from his promotion and he looks really great. Now, before we do anything, I really want for him to go ahead and convince uh, Beverly that logic is great. So yeah, let's just go ahead and talk to Beverly. We have now, though, a thousand simoleons in our bank account, which is really great. Now, I also really want for him to spend some time with Lydia because I, I really think that they can have a good relationship. Oh, also, Nini let me know in the comments of the last part that we could actually get the, the observant trait. Where can we do that already? Over here. Why are there so many people around here? Uh, but yeah, by getting the observant trait, it actually allows the sims to get to know the other sims more easily and to get to know the other traits as well more quickly. So I'm going to have him get the, the observant reward trait. I think we were saving for another one. I don't remember which one though. I really have to go back and watch the three first videos because I really don't remember a whole lot about this series. Oh, we do have some some seeds around here that maybe we can we can pick up and plant in the future, although he's not really the kind of guy that would be gardening very much. All right, so let's go and talk to Beverly. But maybe that's going to help you know now that he has the observant reward trait. Oh, we do have some gems over here. We should definitely collect them. This way we can maybe sell them and make a little bit more money. That can be useful. Oh, there's more over here. Maybe there was... Uh, an asteroid or something. Look at all of those. I think I see another one over there. Oh, I have the same reflex because with The Sims 4 when you left click on the screen you can actually drag the the camera but here I can't because it's The Sims 3. It doesn't work the same way. Oh, is that? Are those? Oh, these are insects. Let's go and catch them. Maybe we can get some more money from those. You handled that argument solidly. Beverly Heaton sees the logic in your opinion and isn't afraid of logical thinking anymore. Plus, your relationship has improved. Great! Alright, so now I think I'm just going to have him spend some time with Lydia. I know that I wanted for him to have a chess, you know, ranked chess match, but we can do that tomorrow. I really want for him to spend some more time with Lydia. So, where is she over here? There. See, they're friends already. Let's go and invite her out. 
All right, so he collected all of the gems and stones that we found on the on the beach. I'll have him analyze them later on. I really want for him to spend some time with Lydia, and it's already 7 p.m. We need to hurry. So what is this insect? Oh, we need to choose a, a destination. A water beetle. Well, that makes sense. We're at the beach, so... Where do we go? Do we go back to the park? It's going to be night time again. We're not going to see her very well. Well, you know what? Let's go to the pineapple park because this way we can play chess with her. He got his first insect. Cool. I think we can drop those. Where are the insects actually? Sure, that sounds like fun. Cool. Oh, the water beetle. It's right there. It looks like a rock. But I think we can give those to, to the science lab and make, I think, a little bit more money than by selling them through, through the inventory. Alright, so Keith just arrived at the park. Is that Lydia? Yes, that's her. So she works in the culinary career. I didn't know that. Let's go and chat with her. Actually, they were already on chatting to each other. But yeah, he, w he really wants to have his first romance. And he also really wants to kiss Lydia for the first time. So he really likes her. And look at that, they, they're feeling attracted to one another. Uh, let's be funny maybe with her. Let's tell her a funny story. And I'd like to get to know. Ask about day. How was your day? Mm, ask sign. Do we know her sign? No, we don't. Although her career says that she's a spatial agent in the law enforcement career, so why is she dressed? Maybe she was undercover and she took a break just to spend some time with Keith. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, he wants to give her a hug. I think we need to chat a little bit more. Uh, let's gossip maybe a little bit with her. We don't know any- Oh, look at that! She's a genius, she's handy, and she loves the outdoors. Thank you so much for letting me know about the observant reward trait, because we got to know her so much more. We just need to get to know two more traits. She seems like a very nice person, though. Compliment cleverness, for sure. I mean, the both of them are geniuses. I think their child is going to be a genius as well. Uh, ask sign and no. She's a Leo. Oh, they're not compatible, though. Oh, well, that's just a detail. Let's get to know and see. Oh, we can give her a friendly hug, finally. Did you know that German coil is filthy rich? I would never have guessed. Really? Let's admire her. Oh, we can ask her to move in already. What if we do a flirtatious joke? How would she react? I think she reacted well when we flirted with her last time. Maybe this is going to turn this outing into a date and maybe we can go and have some kind of dinner? Maybe we could go to the fancy, fancy bistro this time rather than going to the diner. Oh, look at them. She's friendly too. They're just perfect for one another. Oh, look at that. She kind of likes that. Let's compliment her appearance and of course, let's go and compliment her personality. Looks like it's just Keith and Lydia now, hopefully they have a great date. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at that, he wants to eat at a restaurant. So let's go and eat at a restaurant together. This is going to work as well in their relationship. Let's go to the bistro. Let's eat here with the date. It's 75 simoleons, but you know, we, we got a promotion, we got a little bit of money, so that's okay. Ooh, really nice dress. I really like her. I don't think he's going to take her home tonight, but maybe, maybe soon, you know? Their relationship is developing pretty well. I'm thinking of leaving soon. No, you don't. We need to go to the restaurant together and get to know each other a little bit more. So we're just missing one trait of hers, but she seems to have a really nice personality, so I'm not scared. I really think their relationship is going to go well. I don't really know where she lives as well. I don't know if she's a pre-made townie from Bridgewood. Maybe she is, but I'm not sure. All right, so Keith is out of the restaurant. I don't know where Lydia is. I think she might still be inside. Oh yes, she's coming out right now. I kind of want to kiss her, to be honest. Look at her, she's so pretty. I love the way she looks at him. She definitely has a crush on him. They would make an amazing looking couple, don't you think? kind of like them. So, let's see. Uh, let's be a little bit romantic with her. Let's flirt with her. I know that he's tired. It's 12.30 a.m. He should definitely go go home and sleep. But I kind of want to, to spend a little bit more time with her. And I think he's going to get another promotion rather quickly because his logic skill is really high. Let's give her an amorous hug. I'd like for them to become romantic interest soon. Let's Tell her flirtatious joke again. She seems to like those. Oh, he really wants to kiss her. <gasps> Gaze into eyes. She's not even looking at him. 
Confess attraction. Oh, Ooh, I'm scared of doing that. He wants to go on another date with her. Would he confess, confess his attraction right now? Let's hold hands and see how that goes. They're good friends at least. You know, he's a hopeless romantic. Let's confess attraction. I'm kinda scared because this interaction can actually go bad in The Sims 3. So? Oh, I think it went well. Oh, their romantic interest. Cool. Keith just confessed his attraction to Lydia. He will always remember how his palm sweated. Sweated? Is that a word, really? When he declared his feelings. Oh my god. She f she thinks he's being extremely irresistible. Ooh. I'm going to keep this one. I think they're going to go on another date. He's not going to kiss her right away. Uh, propose going steady. No, not yet. Let's just go ahead and give her an amorous hug. And then let's ask to leave the date and say goodbye. Because he's really tired. They're going to go on another date. I kind of want to go slowly on things. He wants to kiss Lydia. You and me sitting in a tree. Oh gosh, did I say that out loud? I mean, what a fun date. Um, don't mind me. Why did you stop here? Let's go home. Oh, that's awesome. He just went on his first date with Lydia. So I think the next time they'll go on a date together, which might be even tomorrow, to be honest, because I'm just so into this relationship right now. Look at his mood in his career here. He's just feeling amazing. But yeah, I think he's going to share his first kiss with her maybe in their next date and ask her to go steady. Oh, so excited. But he needs as well to have some chess match as well to continue working on his aspiration. Things are going so well for Keith. All right, but right now I'm just going to have him go to bed. Then tomorrow morning, take a shower, go to work. So yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right, so Keith is done with work and I think he just got another promotion. He got a raise, a raise sorry, in the middle of the day. And yes, he just been promoted to medical intern. Look at that. He's just doing so well in his career. Doctor or not, there's a long way to go before you will earn the respect of peers and the right to use a scalpel on patients. Pay attention to the other doctors and study the latest medical journals or else it's back to the bedpans for you. All right, so that's true. That's really awesome. Uh, he's quite tired though, but I really want for him to to go to the park and... Oh, what is this? He can go to an eating contest. Are you hungry? Not really. So let's just go to, to the park and I'm going to have him call over the next contestant for the chess match because I really want for him to work on this aspiration of his. So let's go uh, call a sim. Let's invite over the next ranked match. Or next ranked chess opponent. This is a mouthful, honestly. Do you want to invite Clarissa? Yes! And also he needs some fun, so hopefully playing some chess is going to help him with his fun. Uh, Alright, cuddle? What the hell? No, let's go and challenge Clarissa. <laughs> Do not cuddle her. Why would you cuddle her? Where is she? Is she underground again? Because I think I saw someone as well again being underground. She must be somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh, there she is. She's not on the ground. And her husband is right there. Come on, challenge Clarissa. I know you're tired. Just have one chess match and... Are you kidding me? We were supposed to duel with her. Oh, it's glitched again. Can she stop playing, maybe? No, she keeps playing. Join practice chess, okay. Uh, although someone's calling. Who's calling? Answer phone. Oh, it's Lydia! Alright, so for some reason this game is glitched once again. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Oh, she wants to chat. Mm, I'd like to say yes, but he's really tired. He needs some fun. Ugh. Well, what I'm gonna do is just send him back home, have him go to sleep, because going to bed after midnight for him is just a very, very bad idea. And I'm going to have her... Oh, Keith is on call today and may need to return to the hospital to help out. Yes, he has this beeper thing here now. But yeah, going to bed after midnight is just not a good idea for him. So what I'm gonna do is just spit on through until he has some free time to finally have another game ch game of chess. And hopefully this time it's not going to glitch out because he really needs to improve his rank. All right, so it's the middle of the night. The shower is broken, so we have a technician here repairing it. And Keith got a call from work and he needs to go back. There's some kind of emergency, apparently. Sleep in in ready room. The ready room is a great place for a nap when there are no emergencies, but you won't get much done back there. Oh, he's just really, really tired. Let's go and sleep in, honestly. I know there's some kind of emergency, but that's fine. 
All right, so Keith is done with his emergency. Thankfully, his energy went up a bit. He still really needs some fun. And he made, I think, 60 simoleons if I saw correctly. But yeah, right now he's just going to go back home, sleep again. Actually, he's going to sleep until he's fully rested for at 7 a.m., which is great. And hopefully tomorrow he'll finally be able to spend maybe a little bit more time with Lydia and beat Clarissa Stewart at a game of chess. I really hope so, though. Alright, so Keith is almost done with work, but we just got this opportunity here, which is bad reception. Lydia Lockhart has a TV that's busted, and there's nobody around to fix it. Take that TV set, it will be in your family inventory, and whack it a few times to see if you can't get it working again. Lydia Lockhart will pay you for the, for the repair work. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, everything for Lydia. And it's actually going to be 7 p.m. He's he's in huge need of fun here. But I really want for him to work on his aspirations, so I don't think he's going to go on to another date with Lydia today. Instead, I'm just going to have him go here, and then I'm going to have him call over Clarissa, who was actually quite glitched because I went back to the park. I had a notification saying that she was still improving her logic skill, and I thought that she must still be playing chess, and she was still playing chess here, so I had to reset her. Hopefully this glitch is not going to happen again, so let's go ahead and call her over here. And I really hope that Keith is going to win this time. Let's just go ahead and practice chess, yes. Let's wait for Clarissa to arrive. I don't really know where she's going to arrive. Oh, I think she's here. Alright, let's stop that. And... He's too stressed to do that right now. Are you kidding me? Where is Clarissa? Let's go here. Let's go and greet her. Maybe he can have some fun by chatting with her, you know, like telling jokes and stuff. I think this can help the Sims with their fun need. Let's be funny. Oh, she's frugal. Let's tell a funny story. How did you learn that? Oh, probably from his observant traits. She loves the outdoors as well and she's friendly. There's a bunch of friendly Sims in this town. Let's make silly face. Someone's calling him again. Answer phone. I'm sure it's going to be Lydia. Hi Keith, this is Lionel. Oh no, I'm busy right now. Let's be funny again and let's tell another funny story. Yes, this is working on his fun need. So let's get to know her maybe. Oh, she has a good sense of humor. Good to know and I'm sorry if you can hear some noise in the background. My cat is scratching some cardboard. Uh, let's not be mean. Let's make some silly faces again. I would have thought though that playing chess would have been fun for him, but apparently to play a game of chess you need to be very relaxed. Let's tell a joke. And let's end this about work. Well, his fun need is not going down very quickly. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and play some chess with her. He can play chess with her, but he cannot challenge her for some reason. That's kind of annoying. At least you know he's going to be working on his logic skill. Does he need anything with logic skill? Oh, he needs to do some research. He'll bring home medical journals from work. Keeping up with the latest discoveries in this field is crucial for any sim hoping to advance in the medical profession. Alrighty then, so he wants to reach level 5 in his career. He wants to skip work. I mean... I might actually have him skip work at some point because I feel like his job is taking a lot of time. And he just reached level 6. Keith's brain has grown immensely recently and only in the good way. Rumors are circulating about Keith's mental cap capabilities, but doubts still remain. Is Keith destined for the top of the cranial collective? Alrighty then. Well, at least you know he's having fun. Let's stop playing chess. Ugh. Maybe we need to go on the, onto the other table? Who are you? Leon Stewart. Okay, let me let me reset you because I don't want you here. Alright, so Leon is gone. <laughs> this is so tricky to just get a game of chess. Let's go ahead and play with Clarissa. Are you gonna stop? She's not stopping. Why is the, the chess table so glitched out? This is kind of annoying me at this point. Alright, so I reset it Clarissa, but apparently it's too late now to invite her over, so... Ugh, this game of chess will have to happen during the weekend, I guess. I think I'm going to have him skip work today because his day of work just takes forever. Look at that, from 9am to 7pm. It's kind of getting on my nerves that the, the chess games are so glitched out and that the sims just don't obey my command. It's so annoying. Oh, but anyway, and I think in the next part as well, I'm going to have Keith and Nydia make it official and finally go steady with each other. I think that could be really sweet. He will need as well to repair her TV to help her help her out a bit. But anyway, I'm just going to take care of Keith and end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, I think I'm going to have Keith skip work. 
work on on the TV of Lydia, maybe go on a date with Lydia and finally make it official with her. And also, of course, I'm going to have him work on this aspiration and hopefully this time he will be able to play chess with someone because that's really getting on my nerves. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone! Thank you.